And what is up, party people? Sorry. You know I can't stop doing that, and I won't stop doing that. Anyways, let's get into this video. Welcome back, guys. Today you joined me in very, 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 very sunny Barcelona, Spain. Wow! Wow! Let me get it for you. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> so yesterday I was sitting on my A days, which are basically the unassigned days that you have, where can, or my company can send you anywhere in the world. Um, more specifically, I was sitting standby, where you actually go to the airport, standby for any last minute flights that someone's called out for that they will need to cover. So yesterday I was sitting, and they decided to send me to Barcelona, Spain. Obviously, we are here the day after that horrible terrorist attack that happened in Las Ramblas. So we won't be doing too much today because a lot of that area is closed down, but it's very unfortunate because that is a, a very, very pretty area that has so many shops and so many foods and, and all that good stuff. So unfortunately, we can't go there. Um, also, Barcelona is a city that you do need to prepare to come to, meaning that there are if, there are a lot of uh, attractions here that you do want to go to, but you do need tickets in advance, such as the... Um, Parkwell and the Sagrada Familia. Both of those I've checked are sold out for today, unfortunately, and you need tickets to go to those. So definitely, if you plan on coming to Barcelona, do your research and plan ahead. Um, but there are a couple of other things that you can do here that don't you don't need tickets saying you don't need to plan ahead, obviously. They have the uh, their version of the Arc de Triomphe here. I think it's spelled the same, but it's obviously the Spanish version. So I definitely want to do that. And then they also have this really nice park um, where they had this great kind of, I don't know what you would call it, statue or monument that I love to take pictures with as well. So we would definitely um, go and check that as well. They're pr pretty much, I think, uh, within walking distance of each other, if I remember correctly. This is my third time coming here. The first time was in 2010 when I studied abroad. And the second time was right after I started um, with my company being a flight attendant. And then last time was most recently last March. So it's always been pretty cold when I've come here. I think the first time was in December, second time was in February, third time was in March. So it's always been pretty cold. It's hot here actually today. So it's about like, I think 87 degrees outside if I remember correctly. So it's hot, so you're gonna have your shorts and your, uh, your t-shirts on. Um, but yeah, after that, definitely I'm going to do two of the biggest things that you can do while you are in Barcelona, or two of the biggest things that I can do, really. Um, and that is sample the number one paella, delicious, and number two, the sangria. And if you know me, I sampled that sangria. Ooh, baby, I sampled that sangria a lot. Do I sound like a creepy old man? Because I feel like a creepy old man when I talk about sangria. Anyways, yeah, so we're gonna do that, and uh, so yeah, come along, come on, come on. If this is your first time on my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like this video and make any comments with any questions you might have down below. But let's go. Hey, that rhyme. All right, guys, so we have made it to the Spanish version of the Arc de Triumph, and are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Here we go. There you go, kids. Okay. Actually, really, really pretty. It's different colors than the actual Arc de Triumph. And, um, parents. Really brown. So nice. This is like a promenade that you can walk down. And of course, you cannot have a long street in Europe without people trying to get you to pass. Yeah, just to turn you guys back around, this is what it looks like. We're gonna walk up a little bit so you guys can get more of a full length view. I don't know why I'm saying we because it's definitely just me here, but I feel like if I say we, that means you guys are here with me and that makes me look and feel less lonely. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. 
review, and just to give you guys a quick rundown on what it is. And this is according to the Bible that is Wikipedia. And don't act like you did not use that in high school, kid. We are going to walk down just a little bit more. Like I said, I think that the cool statue monument thing that I saw the last time I was here is it's up here somewhere. I don't remember exactly where, but life's an adventure. Let's go find out. Well, how? So like I said, I never know really what to call this thing, whether it's a fountain, statues, kind of thing, but it is so absolutely gorgeous. I've taken many, many pictures in front of this uh, monument, and I just love to come and look at it whenever I'm here. I think it's so nice. So without further ado, blam blam. Okay, well, hold on after this thing gets out of the way, blam blam. Okay, after those trees get out of the way. Blam, blam, blam! Right, just to me, it's just absolutely gorgeous. This used to be my uh, desktop screensaver for a while. So as I'm walking around, I'm just about to hop in a cab and I turn around and I see this in the background. So, that is the world famous La Sagrada Familia. So, obviously since we see it. All right guys, we have made it to the La Sagrada Familia. I'm tired. La Sagrada Familia. Just give me Know what it looks like now like I said earlier it is uh, sold out today as you guys can see that long line of people are not standing there for nothing unfortunately we cannot go in but I definitely wanted to give you guys just a quick peek of what it looks like and like I said definitely it is worth going inside I have been inside before it is gorgeous and they do do tours I'm about to hop in a cab and go back to my hotel and then go get some food because I am of course starving. If I am not tired, I am hungry, so it's gonna be one of those. And now I'm hungry, so let's go. Alright guys, so after talking with the hotel, we decided to come. I don't know why I keep saying it. I decided to come to the uh, this area of Barcelona called Port Olympio. And as you can see, it is very clearly a port. So this place has a lot of great restaurants. They're all lined up along the strip here. As you can see, there's a lot of people out here. So be ready for some crowds, but you are definitely going to have a beautiful view of the water when you do settle down at your chosen restaurant. So I think I've been here before. I'm gonna try and see if it's the place that I think I've been here before eating at, if that makes any sense. The place I went here last time, I'm pretty sure it is in this area. So I'm gonna see if I can buy that place and I will check back in with you later. Okay, I wasn't joking when I said I have an actual love uh, for Sangria. Um, yeah, I definitely got the picture. Bulga. So in case you guys didn't know, Sangria is uh, wine, it's like tree wine. I really don't know, what is it? So, cheers to me. So guys, this is the main event here, which is the paella, world famous in Barcelona. You heard it. Go sangria. And the only reason I'm showing you guys this is because I feel like you are, you know, mature enough not to judge me for having this much food. I really hope you are. And if you're not. I really don't care. So 
pour a little, I pour a little lemon on. So, 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 so good. Basically fried rice with um, chicken, these prawns in here, and I think this, this little number is squid. Maybe octopus. Go down. Come on, guys. So good. So good. Alright guys, so I'm just wrapping up dinner and I just wanted to quickly, just in case I didn't properly show you guys before, this is the card of the restaurant that I'm at right now. So La Barca, it's in Port Olympic and it is absolutely delicious. So definitely, like I said, if you're in this part of town or if you want really, really good paella and sangria, which is a staple here in Barcelona, I feel, definitely visit this place. It is absolutely delicious. You won't regret it. So we are done with dinner. I am going to hop on out and go back to my room. I am beach to whale and it has to go on tomorrow. I didn't digest all the food, all the food that I ate right now, but yeah, let's get up and go. All right guys, so I am done with dinner and I just wanted to end the vlog here along this beautiful, gorgeous uh, pier that we find ourselves in or a port. No matter what happens in the world, you can't let that stop you from traveling as I learned today. I was really afraid to go out after I heard that, you know, the Barcelona had experienced a terrorist attack. Um, but I said that, you know what, I have to do something because you can't let violence and hate win. You can't do that. So do whatever you can. Like don't don't let anyone stop you from traveling in the world. And that's my that's my biggest point. Um, I think Barcelona. I've been here. This is my fourth time here, and I never never ever get tired of it. I love it so much. And it is a resilient city. And I know it's going to bounce back from what happened yesterday. And I just want to thank you guys for watching this vlog. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment down below. What are your favorite places to go to? What are your favorite places to go to in Barcelona if you've ever been? And if you would like to go to Barcelona, please let me know and, and go, definitely. It's one of my favorite cities in Europe. I love it. It's probably my favorite city in Europe. And yeah, just, just go. Just go. Uh, so have a great night, guys. I will see you on the next vlog. Bye. Vlog. I don't know why I say vlog. I spell check myself now, as you can probably see. Because every time I say vlog, it writes vlog, and now I'm spell checking myself. But good night. Bye.